Hello, my name is Chad Smith, and I'm a Technical Alliance Architect here at Teradici. Today I'm going to review a new feature for PC over IP Ultra called AV Lock. AV Lock enables the synchronization of audio and video frames across the network, all while reducing drop frames during playback as well. To summarize the problem that AV Lock solves, we need to acknowledge that our audio senses are acute to even a millisecond missynchronization and can be a jarring experience when we see lip sync with audio delays. This problem can further be exacerbated when working remotely because users are now subjected to the underlying network conditions between the client and host systems, which can dramatically change throughout a session. Users trying to do remote editorial applications will immediately recognize the benefits of AV Lock, making applications more suitable for remote work. Now let's take a closer look on how to identify audio video sync issues. In order to do so, I have gone out of my way to simulate a challenging network environment. I wanted to call out that these steps I will be taking go against our own best practices and I don't recommend such conditions in a production environment. This is only for demonstration purposes. First, I have replaced my Ethernet connection with a Wi-Fi connection and I've even gone further by unplugging the Wi-Fi antenna from the back of my computer. A spotty Wi-Fi connection creates a steady amount of drop packets. As you can see, the poor signal strength with the iwconfig command, as well as the iplink command, shows several drop packets happening in real time. Second, I am planning on establishing a connection to a host that is approximately 160 milliseconds from my client. Here's the cloud ping latency test from my client to the London AWS region. Let's go ahead and connect to the instance in the London region. Now that we established a session to that instance, I wanted to verify the latency and the number of drop packets the host is experiencing. We have a great tool to view these session statistics. By scrolling to the round trip latency counter, we can see the total trip from client to host and back, and indeed confirm that we are connecting to an instance that is halfway around the world. Let's review the number of drop packets as well. We can see that there are indeed a good amount of RX and TX drop packets as expected. From the host, we're going to run a simple audio video sync test hosted on YouTube. We're going to record the video and then investigate the results. Let's get started. To the uninitiated user and the limitations of this recording software, the audio video synchronization lag may not be apparent at normal speeds. But through the magic of video editing, I've captured this recording and slowed it down to 25% of normal speed to highlight the audio and video discrepancies. Here we can see the audio marker, which is a beep that is between 133 to 334 milliseconds behind the video marker. Although it is a synthetic test, it does illustrate the lag between video and audio under extreme networking conditions. Now, let's enable AV Lock on this instance and see how it performs. AV Lock is built on the foundation of the high performance client. Today, it is only available for Linux, but expect a high performance mode for both Windows and Mac in the coming months. Because of that, we'll be focusing on the PCOver IP client for Linux. Also, 
This video isn't intended to be an in-depth installation guide. So I want to provide a link to the administration guide, which includes the prerequisites and instructions on how to get started. Okay, let's dig in. Enabling the high performance client is simple. It just requires the addition of a couple variables in an INI file. At your home directory, there's a hidden folder called .config. Within that directory, there's a subdirectory called Teradici. Inside that directory, there's a file called Teradici piece over IP client.ini, which we will be editing. To enable the high performance client feature, you need to add a field called enable underscore native underscore OpenGL with a value of one. Although not required, but really useful is the statistics overlay, which we can enable with the addition of the enable underscore native underscore OpenGL underscore stats underscore overlay also with a value of one. For more information on the parameters within the high performance client, including keyboard shortcuts, please refer to the latest piece over IP client administration guide. To enable the high performance client, you have to reestablish your PC over IP session. Once a session is reestablished, you will have a new menu option under the View tab. You will see the toggle option for AV Lock now. Check the toggle in real time to enable and disable this feature without having to reestablish the session. Leave AV Lock off to achieve dynamic frame rates and ensure the best remoting USB experience. Turn on AV Lock when you must ensure audio and video synchronization across frames. Now that AV Lock is enabled, let's conduct the same AV test we did earlier. Again, to the untrained eye, it is difficult to see the audio video synchronization in real time. To aid in our investigation, I have re recorded this AV test again, but at 25% of normal speed. As you can see, the results look much better this time. The video and audio are in much better alignment. In most cases, under 30 milliseconds between the visual marker and the audio blip. Compare that to the previous test results without AV lock, we're getting a misalignment between 133 to 334 milliseconds. On a side note, if we had downloaded the video instead of playing directly off of YouTube, we'd probably got even better results. YouTube does add a bit of latency itself in the form of a buffer. You can see this latency by enabling the stats for nerds overlay and looking at the buffer health meter. Finally, while not an exhaustive review of ADV lock, it did give you an introduction as well as insight into the high performance client mode that will be making its way to Windows and Macs clients as well. Stay tuned for more exciting features from Teradici. Thanks for watching.